Okay, gang, we're going to work our way through a few different drills for 8-Ball. Now, the first drill that you see on the screen, I call 2 below. This is a situation where you want to play the 8-Ball in one of the bottom corner pockets here in front of us. But you have two balls below the 8. This happens an awful lot in 8-Ball because on most eight ball breaks, not all, but most of them, the eight ball stays relatively close to the foot spot and sometimes just sits right there in the rack waiting for you to shoot it. So this drill is something that you can use to practice playing the balls that are laying below the eight and you want to get to the same corner pocket with the eight ball. Now, a lot of people will say, well, I can play the eight in the corners up top or in the side. But the reality is the corners right in front of us are the much more high percentage shots for you than having to play the eight in the side pocket or in a distant corner pocket. So this drill is pretty simple, but those of you who take the time to practice it will find that is not as easy as you think. I've had some pretty decent players have a difficult time with this drill because we're playing two balls below the eight and then trying to play the eight in either one of those bottom corner pockets and it's not always simple. The one thing I like about all the drills that you're going to see is that they bring out your full game. You're going to have to use stop shots, draw shots, follow shots, shots with English, shots off of three rails, a number of different things to get through the different drills and that's why I developed these uh, basically just four or five different drills is because these all take different skills and different opportunities to address the problems in different ways so here we're playing two of our solid balls which are on the head spot and the foot spot and the eight ball now is in the center of the table if you played any eight ball at all, you've seen the two below situation. You've seen the situation where the eight was in the middle of the table and you had balls at one end or the other. So these are situations that you're practicing because they come up and they come up frequently. So what I'm showing you in the drills on the screen are different ways to address problems that happen on a regular basis. So simple shots, simple patterns, and simple ways to get out. Also, we're looking at recovery shots. A recovery shot is a shot that you take when you're out of position, is not where you want to be, but you're able to make the shot anyway. So, practice these drills and you're going to get better at 8-ball and 9-ball. This drill looks very simple. It is very simple. Give yourself ball in hand. You're going to shoot at one ball. Find a way to get to the next one. There I shot draw with English. Absolutely wrong way to address this problem. And that's the other thing that this drill will give you. It'll give you some of the things that you're not going to want to do when it's time to play a match. And that draw with, uh, with left English was definitely not the way to go. Uh, in order to satisfy that drill. The one you see on screen now looks very easy. I have to tell you that I find that a lot of players have a very difficult time with this. You've got a ball on the short rail on the head string side and another one on the short rail on the foot string side and you put the eight ball on the spot. Now you can get down table to get to that four ball from the three a number of different ways. I could have shot it with draw, follow, stun even. A lot of things would get me down there. And now you have to get position on that eight ball and you can play it in any pocket you want, but it is not as simple as it looks. But if you're a higher ranked player, you're gonna to wanna to play this drill, but we can put a twist to it. So here, we're playing the same drill and by the way you want to switch sides so you've got the eight ball um, starting on one side with you and then you practice with the eight ball on the other side of the table 
uh, so you get used to um, going both directions as far as which ball you shoot last before you get on the eight. But once you get to the point where this drill becomes relatively simple for you, you can do what I'm doing here. So I played the drill out and I played for position on the next round of the drill. So I left the cue ball where I left it at the end of the first drill and now I'm going to have to run out from there. This will add a new twist to this drill and there's one thing that I like about all of these drills and um, frankly I made up each one. If, if somebody's been doing them before uh, they did them without my knowledge. But um, the thing I like about all of these drills and just about all the drills that I teach you guys is that you can make this as easy or difficult as you want to. And the best way to make this one difficult is to force yourself to play position on the next round of drills. So you can spend an hour doing this. I spent an hour doing this the night that I recorded it. And it was a very productive hour because that is not a simple drill. This is one of my favorites because my least favorite position situation is parallel balls. And what I mean by parallel balls, I mean they're lined up straight across the table. What that means is that you're going to have to do something unique to get on the next ball. And if you put three of them parallel, knowing that you have to get from one to the other and then back to the eight ball, it becomes an even more challenging situation. One other thing that I want to mention, on each of these drills, the balls are situated in a way that given an opportunity during the game, you would not allow these situations to develop. So where you see two balls on opposite ends of the table or on short rails, that's a problem situation that you should have fixed early in the game. Where you see balls that are parallel, like in this drill, this is a situation you should have solved early in the game. When you see balls that are two below the eight ball or even one below the eight ball and that corner pocket is going to be necessary for you to finish the rack, you should fix that early in the game. So these drills are based on solving problems that you should have tried to solve earlier in the game. So just keep that in mind but do work these because you don't always have your choice and how things are going to break out during the course of the game. Thank you for watching guys. If you like this video hit the subscribe button and the like button. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if you've tried some of these and how they turned out for you. Have a great day.